big deal. I was in the area. I just texted you. I fell into my bag. Why? Is it off? This is what you're wearing on my wedding day. Okay. It's fine. It's a jacket. What's all this? Shouldn't you be dressed as someone about to consign themselves to a doomed marriage? Wedding off for the minute. Grandpa had funny turn. We'll keep you posted. It's all off. No, postponed. It could still happen today. They've offered us a later slot if we need it. So pleased he came. I knew you'd come in the end. I'll get you a drink, yeah? So you're right. You know I've been chanting for this. Oh, shut up. Why didn't you call me? Well, I didn't want to wake you. You need your sleep. Oh, he loves his mummy, doesn't he? Should we get married instead? Oh, Tanya, you're making peculiar. He's fine. I am peculiar. I'm officially a claustrophobic narcissist, did I tell you? You're not still doing that silly group therapy, are you? Oh, no, that one was awful. You have to listen to a load of other people's ridiculous problems. Good. You don't need it. Oh, all in a tiny room together. Couldn't breathe. What a performance. Nearly had to call it off completely today. It can't be today now, Mum. We could still do it today. We don't know. So it's on or off? What does it depend on? What are we waiting for? I have to leave early anyway, you know. I'm meeting Ben. Who's Ben? Ben the twitchy actor? Ben Theodore, the greatest actor of his generation. He emailed back. Can you believe he emailed back? He's doing a play in New York. Oh, I should have asked about Grandpa. Is he all right? What's happened? I'm a terrible person. <laughs> oh, here he is, the Michiganer. Maybe you'll eat all your dinner next time if you're going to feel weak. Decided he'd gone off chicken. Who goes off chicken? It's chicken. Just thought it was a bit dry, that's all. It's the same chicken I've made for 50 years. What, do you want such moist chicken all of a sudden? Oh, leave him. It's not his fault. They had to take me to St George's. Three hour wait. They said there was nothing wrong with me. All I need is rest. So what? So nothing's wrong? Why are you, why are you smiling? He's all right now. Maybe. How did you know the wedding was off? Postponed. I didn't. This is my look. He's making a nonchalant protest. He looks a total schmuck in that lot. <laughs> Go on, Ben Theodore, what did the email say? It doesn't matter, he emailed. It matters, what did he say? Is it flirty? Ready? Hey, I'm going to be in New York for two months. It would be lovely to see you before I go. If you're free, I'll be at the Bricklayer's Arm Shoreditch Sunday from six. Kiss. That's a group email. I know, but he included me in it. It's vulnerable, it's sweet. He's not the sort of person who can just put himself out there. This is just his way in with me, no? Yeah. Either that or he just sent it to everyone in his contacts list. So the wedding's off. That's good. Oi! We can still do it today. Bernie's fine now. Can't do it today. I've been up all night with you people. Well, I don't mind if it's today, tomorrow... We're off on the cruise tomorrow. Oh, you're well enough for a cruise, are you? Can't wait. Shush, well, we'll see. If she gets married today, then we can go. Don't be silly. Are you sure you don't want to just get it done today? Then you can finally move out of your old house. And 50's the right age. It's not 55 or 60, can you imagine? It doesn't matter if we have to do it tomorrow. Not the end of the world. We have to leave 11 o'clock. We're only going now if she gets married today. Don't miss your cruise. I'll get you married first, then I'll go on a cruise. Oh, look at you! What was that? Daddy's bringing the suitcases down for tomorrow. I told him not to. I thought he was ill. He, was. he is. What's that? Bullshit. Oh, it's my fascinator. Why are you dressed? I told you it's not happening. The registrar's trying to fit us in at five. I need to let the woman know whether we're going to use her slot. It's the happiest day of Simon's life. Oh, shush. You look nice. I've come as a dick. Can you just start making some calls, please? It's not definitely off. The caterers are setting up at my house and I've got us a new slot, please, God. You won't get your money back now. Shush. You shush. said last night it's not definitely not happening. All right, calm down. Can you just sit? You said we were going to make a decision at 10.30 this morning. It's now 10.36. Barry is blowing up 20 balloons as we speak. 20? Gosh. How are you feeling, Dad? OK. Might go and get my golf clubs from Monty Samuels. You been funny? Sit. <sighs> You've been in a hospital all night. You must be exhausted from it. I need my clubs. They've got a PGA professional and a simulator on a ship. Why has Monty Samuels got them? He borrowed them when I had the cancer. Oh, lovely. 
Mum, why didn't you call me? Well, Tanya said not to. You don't need to go and get them yet. Sit down. We don't know what's happening yet. You would only have panicked. You give Mum tension. When do I give Mum tension? Look at her. That's you. Oh, oh, it's not it's not you cancelling the wedding. Postponing. She was fine till you walked in with your peach salmon fascinator. Girls, don't argue. Oh! Just. Yeah, I'm fine. That's you. We don't want a whole fuss today. Now, Simon, will you go upstairs and help Grandpa with his speech? Check it's all right. Does he still need a speech? Just shush. Just be a good boy. Oh, can I take this off now? No, just leave it. We don't know what's happening yet. What are we doing today? Just deciding whether the wedding's happening or not. All day. Adam, he's driven me mad this week. You don't want to know what I've had to deal with. What? What have you had to deal with? Oh, shut up. It's a secret. Like Mum's new beard cream. Oi! Look, we need to make a decision. It's 10.38. I think give it a go. I can't make a decision now. Just give me a second. You want me to phone Barry, tell him to stop blowing? No, keep blowing. What is it? Is it what is it? Leave it. Nice. Come on, Simon. Oh. Go on then. Well, I'll skip the beginning. Clive has shown himself to be exactly the sort of person we had always hoped Tanya would marry. He has immaculate taste. After all, he supports Arsenal and he chose Tanya, didn't he? Is this from the internet? Yeah. Do you even support Arsenal? Yeah, why not? Hmm. You know, it seemed like only yesterday that I found Tanya playing with her new tea set. Are you washing the dishes, I asked. Yes, she replied. And I'm drying them as well because I'm not married yet. Clive, you have been warned. Really? In those days, Tanya's weekends were taken up with ballet and a pony club. She called her pony Radish and used to call it Horse Radish. OK. Should we assume it's off? But seriously... Oh, well, there's more? Well, that's as far as I've got. Okay. Well, you can't very well say we never thought she'd find anyone who'd marry her. No. What? What do you actually think about the whole thing? How do you feel about Clive? I don't know. Your mother likes him. You don't like him? No, no, it's not my business. If he's a bit of a schmock, what can we do? Well, wouldn't you be more upset if she ends up marrying the schmock? Well, we're the first time. Oh, sorry. That's fine. When did you last talk to Clive? Last night while I was at the hospital. What did he say? Uh, I don't know, it just went quiet. No argument? He was philosophical about it. Go on, tell me what your email to him was. Oh, do we have to? Ready? Hello, Ben Theodore. Why did you write his surname? Because it makes it formal. It's funny. It makes it sound almost exactly like that guy who's never going to pull him. It's kooky. Oh, Ben Theodore, I'm your number one fan. Can I touch your penis, please? That's, that's my next line. You haven't even told us about Vegas, Tanya. Shh, carry on. Lovely seeing you at my grandma's house. How would you feel about some eating and talking at some point? Simon, kiss. Eating and talking? I've deconstructed the concept of a date to make it less confrontational. It shows I'm self-aware. What? Wow. Did Clive like Bette Midler? Uh, he said it did what it said on the tin. Oh, that sounds joyful. So you hate him? It's off, right? It's postponed. Till when? I'm talking to you. So did he respond to the eating and talking? Yeah, you know he did. He just invited me to the leaving do, where there'll be conversation and possibly some food. And, coincidentally, I'm also going to New York. Oh. You're not going to New York. I am now. It's booked. You're stalking him? It's not stalking. He's in my life now. What did you tell him you're doing in New York? You're not doing anything in New York. I'll be sort of writing my play and attending drama school. Are you? Hmm. Where are you going to stay? I read about this cool studio space in the Bronx full of actuary type people. Quite bohemian. Oh, God. So you're going to be sleeping on a stranger's floor pretending to write a play? I imagine I'll be at Ben's most of the time. Do you want to sleep with him or be him? You're yeah, both. That's normal, isn't it? It's ridiculous. You're not going. We've got the leaving do tonight. He's got a leaving do. You're just following him. We're very close now. Call him now and tell him you're not going. I haven't got his phone number. Tanya, did something happen in Vegas? Oh, we saw the shows, we ate. What do you want from me? You've been on holiday. Oh, and Clive threatened to punch a waitress. That was a moment. What? His food was taking a while, so he asked me if I minded if he said something. So I said, fine. Thought he was going to choke her. What? And that was the highlight? 
Clive Revealing has got anger issues, as well as a history of alcoholism, murder and child staining. Oh, shut up, Simon. These Americans, they don't understand our sense of humour. I imagine they'd have some trouble with yours. Can you just call these people, please? Uh, oh, hi, it's Liz. Yeah, Tanya's sister. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, sorry to be a pain, but our dad's been a bit ill in the night, so we've got to postpone the wedding. No, 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 he's fine, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, it could still happen today. No, so. it couldn't. Why not? Uh, well, we don't know yet. Definitely off, no? Uh, oh, that's just Simon being funny about pop music. <laughs> so it could still happen. It won't happen today. Don't drive people mad. Say maybe next week. All right, so well, we'll call you later to confirm. Don't make any other plans. Maybe make plans. Yeah, all right, bye. Make plans. What's wrong with you? Well, well, you never know. My house is all ready. I'm not. Mum, come on. Liz has got a house. Barry's blown up 20 balloons. Do I have to call these people myself? Give me the phone. I'll do them. No, I can give it. See what you've caused. <sighs> Ridiculous you are. What's going on with Adam? Nothing. I'm moving him. Are you? Again? Oh, I can't call all these people. You're going to drive in potty. Haven't you run out of schools? Barkinside High. That's where he was to start with. Before you moved him three times. Bloody good school. Great choice. Well, I couldn't get him into the Catholic school for some stupid reason. Was it the old not enough skin around the top of his willy rule? Oi. And the other state school was full. And he was wrongly accused, wasn't he, at Maysbrook Park? Are we still saying wrongly accused? He didn't daub anything. His hands were spotless. They didn't smell. Gloves. It was in his handwriting. Anyway, he's not going to be able to stay at this private school either. Why? No reason. Well, there must be something else to it. There's nothing else to it. Fishy. It's not fishy. Maybe you're fishy. Anyway, I'm just going to try and get him back into Barkingside High, OK? Didn't you say the whole place was full of drug dealers and perverts? Simon went there. Yeah, well, he's not a drug dealer. What about the Muslim school? Oh, shut up. Oh, they're circumcised. You love the Catholics, you hate the Muslims. Do you prefer Boyzone's version of father and son? What? Don't worry, I was trying something there, it didn't really work. Shall I make some more tea? Yes, please. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what have you done now? What? Definitely not wanking. Why? Shall I tell them? Oh, I don't care. Don't tell Mum. He dragged a girl out of his classroom by her legs last week. Really? Why? I'm just going to get off of her. Oh, yeah. Didn't work out? The teeth start shouting. She thought I was forcing her against her will. Because you had her by the legs. Yeah, well, it's not a big deal, OK? And a bit of. Lightly. Oh. Only because she wouldn't stop screaming. Why would you track her by the legs? She's my girlfriend. Yeah, all right, Adam. Do you want to go and play? Got to be a better way of seducing someone, no? Yeah. Would you like to go out for some eating and talking? Adam, go upstairs. It's kooky. It's kooky. So why you got to move him? Well, they asked if maybe he might be better off somewhere else. He's been expelled. Excluded. It's for a build-up of incidents. It's not his fault. Whose fault is it? Is it the immigrants? The single mothers? Yobs? Hoodies? Europe? What are we going to do about this bloody sex pest? What? Simon. What does he mean, sex pest? Adam's finally actually raped someone. Oh, he hasn't. <laughs> He hasn't. It's just dark. legs. No, it's absolutely happening. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm just unable to say precisely when at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I've got twenty balloons all ready to go and everything. Yeah, it's a bloody shame. Okay, because someone confirmed to me the wedding definitely isn't happening today. Isn't it? I don't want to come across as selfish, but I have got a date with an award-winning actor. Right. I want an answer now. Is this thing happening? Yes or no? What's going on? Shh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What are you talking about? What's she saying? She's gone off Clive. The whole thing's over. Oh, God. No, I haven't. Calm down, Mum. I... I just... I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> it's just nerves. There's no reason why you can't still marry him. No, I can't think of one. Simon. Oh, God, is it hot in here? Oh, maybe I might be ventilated. Breathe, Mum. Come on, sit down. Oh. oh, gosh. No, I'm all right. Mum. We really didn't get on well in Vegas. This is why you shouldn't go on a pre-wedding honeymoon. 
spend all that time together. Maybe it was too warm in Vegas. You can't think in that heat. You remember Bernie last summer? We couldn't breathe in here. Then he got an electric fan and it was much better, wasn't it? For Marcos. Otherwise you'd go mad. You want me to get it? Oh, here are my keys. Ah, get a Monty's now. Not now! Oh, I feel like I'm going a bit demented with it all. <laughs> you, you can't just cancel a wedding because of a holiday. <laughs> Maybe you don't like Las Vegas. Maybe you go to Italy next time. Or Russia. Exactly. Does it matter at all that she doesn't like him? Oh, shut up, Simon. It's none of your business. Tanya, every time. What every time? Do you know the time and money I have put into this house for this party? Maybe we could have a party to celebrate Mum's freedom. Not funny. That's not funny. OK, sorry. I'm going. I've got to order a cab. I'm going home, OK? Yeah, all right. Sure, just, just hang on a minute. I mean, you shouldn't have to marry someone you don't want to marry. Maybe you're not too old to find someone. I mean, what would you do? Go dancing again? Or you could get a job, if that's what will make you happy. You've still got Simon. Maybe you could move in with him. Or Daddy could start driving the cab again. I don't know. No, it doesn't matter how I feel. <laughs> they can say whatever they like at Kaluki. I should care anymore. Maybe 60's fine for getting married. What do I know? Everyone all right? What? Right, what I miss? You do not have a date. You're deluded. You need to stop living in a dream world and get out there and get yourself a proper job. It's enough now. What's, what's happened? Right, Liz, could you call people, please, and tell them I am getting married today? What? I'll call Clive. Lovely. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, what's happened? It's back on. You missed it. How? I've got to go home. I've got a date. Call everyone, quickly. It's not picking up. Shit. What, what's happened? I've got to go home and get my outfit on. Yeah, well, I'm ready. You still going to wear that? What's going on? Hello? Well, Simon can go and get it in his cab. Shut up. That cab's taking me to a place where people make sense. Your daddy will go. Have you got your keys? You going to let my ill father go out in the cold? He's not ill. He just doesn't like Clive. Will you tell them? He thinks he's a schmuck. Oh, silly. <laughs> I'll go now, yeah. He said schmuck. Schmuck. <laughs> Fine, do whatever you want. You get married. Why not? Have a bloody ball. I'm going. I'm really going. I'm walking away. I'm Craig David. Oh, my God. What? Ben. Dear friends, you probably all know by now about the play's funding, so no New York. But drink's still on. If you're around. Right. So, are you still going to New York? I don't know. No? Yeah. No? Right, it's the chunky key for the front door, then that blue one, OK? O'Donnell trouser suit hanging on the wardrobe door. Look, if you're not sure about Clive, we're very proud of you. You don't need to do anything. Oh, for God's sake. Look, I'm getting married, you're going on your cruise, OK? It's enough now. Maybe I'm starting to feel a bit... Just go. Oh, God. It's Tanya. Tanya! It's Clive. Is it? Tanya! I'm coming! Is you all right? I don't know. What's he doing here? He should be at the registry office. Oh, look, everyone. Clive's come to see Tanya. Um, well, sit down, sit down. What? what? Does the happy groom want a, a roll, a drink? Um, I'm not yeah. sure anymore. I'm not sure. I know what that means. What's wrong? You drunk? Fucked. He's fucked. Oh, does he want a banana? <laughs> you OK, darling? Did you drive here like this? OK, I've got to go. My cab's here. You can't go? There he is. The teacher trying to cross me out with his red pen. Best man! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clive. Worst. Didn't even come to the stag do. Just left me outside secrets, waiting like an autograph hunter for strippers. Oh, but you know I was busy. I hey. know, your mum told me. I was working me. on a screenplay. Bloody migraine. Oh, yeah, I, I, I had a migraine. Sorry. Yeah, well, your loss had a bloody good laugh. No touching. OK, darling. <laughs> Should you have been drinking? Aren't, aren't you a... Oh, here we go, Mr Funny Bollocks. 
You're not on your TV show now, you know. There's no... Look, there's no team of people here to make you look good. All right, Clive. Always judging. Judge Dread. Judge John... Shall I make him some tea? Dean. Judge... Does he want tea? Jules. Judge... Judge Judy. That's who you are. Trying to save his mummy from this old brute. Well, who are you, hey? Who are you? All right, OK, all right. What? What, chatty bollocks? Here he is, the knight in shining armour. Well, where's your horse? Hmm? Clippity clop! Clippity clop! Where's oh. your horse? Hmm? Oh. I've got that shirt. Well, this is a white shirt. I've got a, I've got a similar one. It's nice. Yeah, well, why aren't you wearing it then? What are you looking at? Oh, God. You wouldn't last five minutes in my world. Come no! here! Clive! No! Go on, be a man! Where's your joke book now? Think you're Jimmy Tarbuck? Not really. Clive, put him down! Clive. Hey! Yes, all right, it's fine, Mum. Yeah? You don't know what to do now, do you? Hey? Well, you know, you're not actually worth it. Hey, you snivelling you... shitbag! Oh, Clive! What, what, what was that? Was that legal? Right, just calm down, all right? Don't talk to Clive. You hurt me. Come with me for a minute. Right, I'm coming, darling. Oh, hello, Liz. Glad someone made an effort. <laughs> well, I think I dealt with that quite well, no? Is Clive all right? What about me? What about me? Why'd you have to go and aggravate him? I, I've been assaulted. <laughs> it was hilarious. It wasn't hilarious. It was... It was quite terrifying. I filmed it. Look, you want to see? <laughs> you totally shat yourself. All right, can you delete it? Yeah, delete it, Adam. Delete it or put it on YouTube? Please, delete it. I've got a date tonight. This, this jacket would be very expensive in a shop. Did anyone want to help me there? I would have, but I was filming. Didn't want to spoil the magic. He refuses to leave unless I get back with him. How romantic. You're not marrying him now, are you? He's assaulted your child. Shh, just shush now. What's he doing? It's slumped in the kitchen. Looks like I'll fall asleep in a minute. You OK with that? A man just assaulting your child? Oh, all right, Simon, just calm down, will you? Liz wants to ask you something. Now? Yeah, it'll give me a minute to think. What is it, Liz? OK, you can stop filming now. Put it away. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just... Adam's school, the one I'm trying to get him into. Really? Is this the conversation we're having while there's a drunk sociopath asleep in the kitchen? It's important. They're opening a new part of the school dedicated to media studies. Media studies? And they asked me to ask you if you'd open it next Thursday. Then what, you to open their new media wing? Really? Open a wing? What do you think of that? Mm. Can you believe it? What, with scissors and a ribbon? It's up to you. I'm just passing the message on. I think they'd put your name up on a plaque. Mm. A plaque? Really? You open the wing. Do it for your mother. Give me a bit of joy in my life. Go on, you didn't bring me a wedding present. You're not going to New York now, are you, really? Is this what I am now? Some guy used to be on TV is now opening a media wing in Barkingside. All right, fine, fine, I'll do it, fine. Really? Oh, you're a good boy. Mm -hmm. I don't need a plaque, though. Yes, you do. What for? We're all going to die. Don't say that. Not with a plaque. The building will be knocked down in 40 years. It's all pointless. How can it be pointless to have a plaque with your name on it? I just don't want a Look, plaque. I don't care what you want. When is it? I'm coming with you. It's a fucking media wing! Well, it's not really a, a wing, Tanya. What is it, then? It's just their new media space. All right, then, a media space. What was it before? I don't know, just a... General classroom. What is it? They want me to open a room? It's all been refurbished. They got a new door. They want me to open a door? Don't be stupid. It's all really modern. They've actually got an automatic door. They want me to stand on a mat in front of a door. Also, they're, they're doing their own version of Barkingside's Got Talent. I said that you'd be a judge. Can I talk to my agent first? <sighs> You haven't got an agent anymore. You pulled the plug. Do you remember? I mean, let's get real for a minute here, Simon. Are you listening to me? I'm looking at you. Right, shall I carry on? I haven't interrupted. This is what you do. You're a TV presenter and you haven't got a show to present. I don't know what you thought would happen. I just wanted to do something a bit different. Yeah, well, you've been living in a fantasy world. You're running out of money. If you do this, you start to get back into things again. How's standing on a mat going to help? 
Dad. Yeah. Oh, the cake's been delivered to my house. Oh. Yeah, all right, just leave it there, Dad. Hello? Gone. Now, can you please just go and apologise to Clive? Me? I should, what am I apologising for? What, for being abused? Oh, well, if you're going to be like that, you can just forget about opening the media space. Oh, I wasn't going to open your media space anyway. Well, they didn't ask you anyway. What? Oh, what? You suggested it. Oh, thanks. OK, great. So you're my new agent? I've got to go. I've got to find love. So go! I can't go. Anything could happen. Should I end up marrying Gazza in there? He'll be fine in an hour. Is this what we're doing? Are we waiting for a man to sober up so he can marry your daughter? Is that what we're doing in our lives? Just, just shush a minute, yeah? Maybe Simon's right. Maybe he is a maniac. I don't know if you should marry him now. Oh, finally. I thought it was actually going to have to murder one of us. You sure, Mum? I mean, he, he is a bit much, isn't he? It's a bit much! A little bit much. Well, he's not like that all the time. Well, I think once is enough, Liz. We suffer with one bastard husband. Sorry, son, and we don't need another one. I don't want you marrying him if he's like that. Mm. Right, OK, folks, OK. Bad form. I, I, I know. What was I doing? Jesus, don't drink, Clive! I can't believe I just done that to my best bloody mate. All right, it's all done now. Can't go backwards. Thank you. Give him a medal for compassion. Oh, getting a plaque for opening a door. I, I know I've done wrong. I feel awful. I've, I've turned all of your lives upside down. I'm sorry. Bath time won't be the same. Ugh. Oh, I'm going. OK. It, I get it. No, it's Simon. We're really sorry, Clive. Better luck next time, eh? Maybe just leave us for a bit, yeah? I'll talk to you later. Just try and remember me by the good times, eh, Si? All right. How's Clive getting home? C can he take your cab? He'll be all right. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't that fun? You got lined up for us next time. Charles Manson? Duncan Bannatyne? I see you've been Laden single. You got his number? Oh, have a look. Oh! Dad! Oh my I think he's broken my foot, the schmuck! See? Ah, schmuck! Yeah, call an ambulance. Oh, no, get into the I'll call an ambulance. No, we're taking you a cab. Up? You make my father pick up the suit. He should be you on the paper. Oh, Liz! He's my right man. Right, you're, you're getting, getting with him, all right? Why am I getting it with him? Because you're the man now. You're here to look after us. Don't put weight oh, on Oh, he's good, isn't he, Simon? You're not supposed to move people. Put him back. Don't put any weight on it. Come on, Simon. Oh, careful, Dad. Is there any chance we could go via Shoreditch? Shut up! And that was the last episode of Grandma's House. The comedy continues next, though, with him and her. <laughs>